after demonstration is starting in the heart of Paris. France Banquette's Belle Lupton is standing by at the Place de la République. She joins us now. Belle, hello. Uh, thank you again for being with us. Uh, tell us about this rally and the movement that called for it. Well, the rain has just started here, just as we're going live, but that hasn't dampened the spirits here. Behind me, there's a, a band that we just had to slightly move out the way in order to avoid. Uh, there's music, there's a lot of families now. The numbers have swelled in the last hours. When we arrived here, we thought there were probably about 600 people. There are now well over 1,000, possibly going into, into uh, larger numbers. Uh, it's a very quiet, sort of calm atmosphere, lots of families, as I said. Uh, and these people are here to show their solidarity with the refugees. Now, the organisers of this rally say they are a citizen movement. Uh, there are five of them, and this is a very apolitical uh, rally, they say. So they don't want to see, and they ask not to see, banners from political parties being waved aloft. Now, we've actually seen some of those from the far left parties here in France, also from Amnesty International. But the majority of people here are uh, citizens who just want to show their solidarity with those migrants. Now, it should be mentioned as well that this is the first pro-migrant rally France has seen uh, and it's also happening in about seven or eight other cities according to the Facebook page as well as here in Paris. Uh, obviously it was started and it was made through, it was sort of propagated through social networks like Twitter and Facebook. As I said before the hashtag not in our name is being used. Uh, that's because on their web, as they say on their website, these protesters want to say that if Europe is going to turn, and I'm quoting here, uh, their seas into mass graveyards, they don't want it to be in their name. And tell us a little bit, Belle, about the context uh, of immigration issues in France. Yes, yeah, so we've seen uh, France you know, so far has taken in just over 6,000 Syrian refugees. Now, that's not a lot if you compare it to, for instance, Germany. Uh, but one of the people I've spoken to here today says that they really feel, the French people feel, that actually France has done quite a lot and has done its part thus, for, thus far. Uh, obviously, we've seen the pictures in Calais of uh, refugees trying to get out of the country into the UK. We've also seen some quite strong images here in Paris of migrants and refugees being forced forcibly expelled from their camps, uh, particularly in a central Parisian uh, camp of La Chapelle. Now, the organizers of, of the pro-La Chapelle refugees, so people who are supporting those migrants, have actually said that they will not be a part of this particular rally. They don't want to take part in this rally because they say it's jumping on a bandwagon. It's a new fad. It's a new craze. And they don't want to jump on this because this rally, they say, has taken the hashtag that they've been using already for several months. So you have a lot of citizen support here today and we can see that with the Syrians who are here uh, and as well as obviously the French citizens but not necessarily from all organizations. Now I'll just mention there is a Syrian woman who I spoke to today who raised one rather interesting point. She said this is great that it's happening today but actually what we Syrians want is not to be refugees. We don't want to become refugees. What we'd like is to go back to our home, back to our home country. Belle Upton reporting there from the heart of Paris. Thank you very much for that. Well, stay